Your attention as a man has value. So stop giving it away to these women for free. Stop liking all their photos on social media. Stop commenting on all their posts that they drop on their Facebook or their Instagram, right? Stop hearting everything. You don't need to do that, okay? Because so many of you guys, you give away this one power that you have, pretty much probably the only power that you have over a woman other than to walk away, right? Giving her free attention. It has value, okay? Make no mistake about it, guys. When women get dressed up, and they spend all sorts of like time and energy doing their hair, their makeup. They spend hundreds of dollars on this stuff, right? Just to go out, even just to go to the grocery store. They're not doing it for their health. They're doing it to get your attention. Even when they have no intention whatsoever of ever having sex with you. A lot of women have adopted this in their head that they could do this, they could get all gussied up and then go out and get loads of free attention from guys and not have to sleep with a single one of those guys. Why? Because they know they could get free attention out of you, okay? But the moment you stop giving them that free attention, guess what? All of a sudden, you have value in her eyes. Your social value rises in her eyes, right? Because you're not doing what 99.9% .9 of guys out there are doing, which is giving away one of their only superpowers away for free. Right? You're not giving her this free attention, this free validation that every friggin' Tom, Dick, and Harry out there gives her. Okay, Instead, you're being unique. You're being different. You are being, dare I say, irreverent. Remember that word irreverent, fellas, from a previous coaching video. You must be irreverent in order to get noticed by a lot of these chicks, in order to stick out, in order to even get respect. Okay? But make no mistake about it, your attention has value. And I want you to implant that into your head. Your attention has value, you chump. So stop giving it away for free. Stop handing it over to her without any exchange of value. You should get something back. Is she liking your photos? Is she dropping comments on your Instagram posts? Is she? No. You're giving away your jewels for free. And you shouldn't. Your attention has value as a man, okay? Make no mistake about it. All these women you see out here, over here, especially here in Vegas, right? I'm out here in Vegas, I'm staying on the strip. Got a nice shot here. My hotel's right upstairs. And, oh, I got this little gondola over here. All right, all these women out here, getting all gussied up just to go out here on the strip. It's like 100 degrees. I see women like doing all their makeup, their hair dress it like wearing their nice outfits I'm like why dude it's a hundred degrees why because they want your attention and when I'm walking past them am I doing this Woo, girl. Woo. I'm not doing that my eyes are forward unless I'm gonna approach I'll approach her directly and I'm like hey who are you what's your name right I'm not gonna be like scouting her like this hey what's your name yeah no I'm just gonna look her directly in the eye what's your name who are you my name is Matt where are you from right it'll be a very direct male to female conversation. There's no, none of this polite mask, none of these filters, none of this nice guy, fake nice guy shit. Like, oh, hi, you're beautiful. I just want to say hi. You know, none of that. My name's Matt, what's yours? Where are you from? How long are you staying in Vegas? What are you doing later? What kind of food do you like, right? Whatever, try to get the girl out for drinks. Point is, I'm not gonna sit there, gawk at her, look at her dress, anything like that, right? I'm not gonna give the girl free attention, right? Now there are ways to get away with giving her, like say, like I wanna drop a, com like a comment about her dress and the fact like, oh, I haven't seen a yellow dress in a long time, right? Or if I wanna nag, I could be like, hey, this is the third yellow dress I've seen today, right? Are they having a sale on yellow dresses, right? To just kinda like bring her down a notch, especially if, if she's particularly attractive, I'm gonna do that, right? But the last thing I'm gonna do is sit there and be like, oh my gosh, the most stunning girl I've ever seen on the Las Vegas Strip. You are so gorgeous. You know, I'm not gonna do any of that. I'm not gonna give away my free attention. Even when I start dating a girl, I don't give away my free attention, right? I've had girls that I've been dating for months now complain. I don't give them enough compliments. I don't compliment at all. I don't give them any attention. Oh, I got other guys checking me out, giving me compliments. I'm like, see, why do you need mine? No, I want yours. Yours is more important to me. 
I'm like, don't worry, I'll give you a compliment or I'll give you some attention when it's least expected, not while you're nagging me, girl. I always tell them that. When it's least expected, not when you're nagging me. As Alfie said, right? You guys saw that movie, 2004, Alfie. You will get a compliment when it is least expected. I mean, if anything, the time when it's most expected is during the approach. So that's the last time I'm gonna give a compliment. That's the last point in time when I'm gonna like tell the girl. It's like so predictable. It's like, what, you want a guy who's predictable? You want a guy who that you know his every move? No, of course not. Why would you want that? That's boring. Nobody wants that, girl. In any case, online and offline, fellas, okay, both online and offline, I want you to stop giving away your attention for free. Stop gawking at these chicks and looking at them like they're like gold, okay? And just realize that she's gonna go home, she's gonna pee just like you do. She's gonna poop just like you do. She's gonna burp just like you do. Probably gonna like fart in her house and do like, you know, stuff like that when you're not around. You'd be surprised. A lot of these girls will do things that are just part of human nature that you're like pedestalizing her for not doing. You're like, oh, she must never poop. She must never ever go pee. Like, no, dude, she pees and poops just like you. It might be worse than yours, right? Depending on what she eats. You don't know. You just have to understand these chicks are human. Stop treating them like they're goddesses that just deserve your free attention. Especially when these chicks are like overly, overly narcissistic on their social media and like constantly taking these selfies and doing the, oh, I can't stand this, the duck face on the social media, like, and I, I've asked so many girls, like, why do you do that? I even like asked like girls like taking selfies out here, like, why do you do the duck face? Yeah, it's kind of a neg, right? Hey, why do you do that duck face, man? I don't like that. And the girl's like, oh, it makes you look, it makes your face look thinner. I'm like, really? I can't tell, right? Another neg. I can't stand that when these chicks like post these like, like blatant selfies of themselves, like narcissistic selfies of themselves, right? It's like doing that and here are you guys like, 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 and the girl could have like 10,000 likes contributing no value to society, right? Meanwhile, you got guys like me out there actually saving lives, stopping guys from suicide, keeping marriages intact. <sighs> My work is endless. But these chicks can get a thousand times more likes than me because they have tits, ass, and a pretty face. And you guys think you're gonna get laid by giving her free attention. Speaking of which, here goes a chick taking a selfie over there. I can't zoom in, but she's taking a selfie over there, sticking her tongue out, trying to be cute. And I'm like, yep. I'm sure she's posting that to her social media right now, getting tons of likes. All right, so stop giving away your free attention, fellas. I mean, that's the one power you have among walking away, okay? That's like one of your biggest superpowers and you give it away for free. Uh, see, for me, I've been out there in, in field for a long time, so I value it. I don't give it away for free anymore. I value that shit. I withhold it. I withhold it for months, right? I, I'm even dating some of these girls. These girls take care of me, right? And I withhold it. I just don't give it to them. Right? It's not that I don't want to, it's just that I've learned. Once I give away the free attention, oh, Another chump, another chump, just gave it away for free, gave it away like it's nothing. Because when you give away your attention like that, without an exchange of value, when you just give it away for free, the way she equates that into her head is that you have no value. It's because you don't value your attention. Because you don't value your attention, she thinks in her head like, oh, he must not value himself. You feel me? Because you don't value your attention, you don't value yourself. But when you do value your attention and you don't give it away for free, guess what? She realizes like, oh wait, snap. This guy must be high value. He's not checking me out like every other guy does. What is it about this guy? Automatically she starts thinking, does he have like dozens of beautiful women laying in his bed at home? Does he have like a hotter girlfriend than me? What? Then she gets curious, she gets, she gets interested. And because she gets curious and she gets interested, she wants to explore that even further. She's like, huh, what else is it about this guy that makes him different, makes him unique, makes him irreverent? I need to find that out, right? And I can tell you, every single girl that I've cold approached that I'm like, that's in my dating rotation now, I've never given free attention to. And I always laugh at their social media because they have like so many followers, like so many beta orbiters liking all the photos, dropping comments. Girl, these girls never respond never message back, nothing. Like there's never any response to any of them. 
like if anything they usually respond to like family members and stuff but it's like these guys don't get anywhere why it's because they're giving away their attention without an equal exchange of value there's no value exchange at least I mean I could understand the girls like liking your photos to drop in comments too. at least some equality there right to use a new age term a new age bullshit term at least there's some equality there but there's not it's like a dictatorship it's like you like this 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 photo that I uploaded and this this and this like all these photos drop all these comments and then I'm gonna ignore you you don't get anything what kind of relationship is that do you value yourself okay because when you do these things and you just give your attention away for free the girl the way she she sees that in her head is this guy has no value it's like you're walking around the strip here right when I was walking along earlier, people had given away these like free passes for this, for that. They get, they're like, here, sir, free pass, free pass for this. Oh, free, free trial for this, free this, free that. I'm like, free? Okay. I look at it and I just toss it in the trash. They're like, why are you giving this away for free if it has any value, right? What's free, you know? So it's no different. Okay, it's no different. Stop giving your attention away from free, for free. It's the most one of the most valuable things that you have to offer as a man. Just stop giving it away to these chicks for free. Stop validating them. We're living in a culture now that has produced the most female narcissists ever thanks to social media. And you guys are help making that nightmare or keeping that nightmare alive. And I want you to stop, right? Stop doing it. Stop being a beta orbiter. Stop liking these girls, like all of their photos and dropping comments on their social media when you don't even know them and they don't care about you. They don't give a shit about you and they're definitely not gonna have sex with you. Don't waste your time, know your value, protect your value, and stop giving away your attention for free. So until next time, this is M from The 33 Secrets, signing out from the Venetian up here. It's 100 degrees and it's beautiful. So until next time, don't forget to smash that like button below. Also hit that notification bell right next to it so that you're notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on my YouTube channel. Also, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Okay, very, very important you guys subscribe, so please do that now. Subscribe to The 33 Secrets. And for you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill, gold pill, and platinum pill content even further, the best way to do that is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months to Mastery, where I am teaching guys just like you how to go out there and approach and close the youngest, hottest, that's right, I said hottest, most beautiful looking women on the planet. I'm talking about eights, nines, and tens, the same exact type of women that myself and my students are out there cold approaching and closing every single week and I kid you not every single week so if you want to support me that's the absolute best way to do it and all you need to do is click that link below in my description box it will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now it's only one buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons from me it's only one dollar so take advantage of it click that link below in my description box head over to my website get signed up now it only takes two seconds and I will see you in my next coaching video.